Hamish Dodd is here, and you've brought a friend with you, Hamish. I have. I've brought along my friend Andrew here uh, from the Tile Depot, and he has just finished doing his own bathroom at home, and it is fantastic. So, we're going to take a look at that. Oh, nice. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look. All right, Andrew, tell us about the tiles. What have we got on the wall? Okay, so on the wall, I've used a tile called Stone Marble Satin. Uh, that retails around about $100 a square metre and on the floor I've used a tile called Timeless Charcoal Mat which retails at half the price so that's how I made it a bit more cost effective to tile floor to ceiling. Right, so you've saved on the floor a little bit, a little cost bit. effective there so you can have the tile on the wall you really wanted. Yes, yeah. Okay, tell us a little bit about the bath too because I mean uh, people often go out there and buy a freestanding but you've used a back to wall. Yes, yeah, so the, it's the same sort of thing as a freestanding, you don't need a bath cradle or tiles around it, it's basically what it does though, is it goes right up to the back of the wall which stops the water from going in behind it and you don't have to worry about cleaning. Because that places. is a problem isn't it? People mm. just push them up against the wall and go that's great, how do you clean that? Yeah, no it works really well. well you don't clean it, that's the problem. <laughs> this is actually the problem. I want to go back to that um, floor to ceiling tiles. Why do we do that, gentlemen? I think because at the moment it is, it's, it's a real trend but it, it used, people used to go halfway but then you had paint and tile. It's just a lot easier to clean and it looks, looks luxury if you have basically tiles floor to ceiling. Well, uh, what, what would you do if you didn't have enough money to do that? Well, that's where I would suggest um, maybe tiling half the walls, say, and painting the other half. Obviously, right. which ones you tile. So, if you took it, if everything was at half tile height, well, you know, by the time you take that and just use it on half the walls, same price, better look. Right. Yeah, it does look okay, really good. good. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about storage because I've got a few children and I need lots of storage in a bathroom. So what have you done for storage? We've, uh, I've used a uh, vanity, uh, wall hung vanity which has got two drawers in it which got plenty of storage but then to top it off I've put a side cabinet down the side of the wall beside the bath which basically stores a lot of towels and you know, tall sort of products like shampoos and things like that, toilet oh, paper. I need to get some of what I, yes, because you need lots of toilet paper when you've got three boys. You do, you do. <laughs> do you eat the toilet paper? I don't know what they do with it but it does not stay in the toilet very long. Yeah, can, can I just say though, that bath the bathroom looks incredible, you've done a fantastic yeah. job and clearly everything from the Tile Depot. Everything from the Tile Depot. So yeah. cost effective, looking spectacular. I noticed a lot of black tap wear as well, is that on trend at the moment? It is, it is, although I've noticed since I've done that now I think copper and brass seems to be coming in but in general I think just the plain chrome is sort of now being overtaken by using colours and Ooh. basically you can bring them into tie-in with this type of tile you've used as well, whereas I've got black vein going through that uh, through the walls, which goes with the black heirloom tower rail and the black plumb line products. So, so yeah. fancy. I'm out of a job. Um, what about, <laughs> I just want to know about fingerprints and marking on the, on the tap wear. Does it mark very much or not? No, well it's a satin finish as well on all the black products, so you don't have that polished finish. See, I'm thinking about the cleaning yeah. and you're thinking about how amazing <laughs> it looks. Yeah. It looks incredible. Okay, Andrew, something else I noticed was the double shower head. Yes. What is the point of that? So one's a monsoon dumper so basically it comes in one package but a lot of people used to have it coming from the ceiling have a big dumper like a rain head yep. and then you have the hand free so this is basically an all-in-one from Voss where you have the monsoon above you which is like a rain head and then you can be able to pull off the handheld thing to right. clean the rest of your body. Good wow. for the dogs too yeah, actually. Good for the dogs. <laughs> you know what you've in there? I do. <laughs> and um, you've got the extra long towel warmer as well as well. Yes. so you, got, you can put more towels on it. Yes. Oh. Yeah. How, how wide was it? Uh, it's 450, it was a slimline one. Slimline yeah. one, but you stack yeah. them stack vertically. Em, stack them high. Which nice. makes much more sense. Mm. Yeah. Martha Stewart says to fold your towels in thirds too, they go on much easier. Oh, nice. And, and can I just quickly ask, so we've got all those shower heads, we've got the tiles, everything in that bathroom has come from the tile depot? It has come from the tile depot, yes. One stop shop, oh. work. One stop shop. Pretty nice. fancy. I'm yeah. got quite inspired now actually. Hey, thank you so much for coming thank in today. Thank you Hamish. Thank you Andrew. Uh, the tile depot proving luxury is affordable.